I'm JP Wilson, first officer for Alaska Airlines. So I'm the first officer on the 737. I assure the safe operation of the aircraft and also assist the captain in his duties as well. I get to the airplane first. So my job is to make sure the airplane is airworthy, doing the whole walk around of the aircraft, making sure everything is up to standards, uh, set everything up on the, air, on the aircraft as far as like the, uh, the flight plans, the fuel planning, um, all the switches and gauges, make sure they're all set. So when the captain comes, he's basically coming and just verifying that everything is done. You know, the first officer is managing what is going on right now, short term. You know, hey, you know what I need to do in the next 10, 15 minutes. The captain, in a sense, is like, how can I plan for this entire flight, for the safety of the entire flight? You know, every day I get to go someplace different. You know, my office changes on a daily basis. You know, I go up above the clouds, I see, get to see the sun every day. Uh, I love the dynamics of flying in itself. Uh, every day you get a better chance to have a better landing or be better. Back when I was a little kid, my dad used to fly uh, business from Baltimore to uh, Miami, Florida. And he always used to take me with him. And we always used to fly Piedmont, 737-200. And every time we go, I always have to have the window seat because I love looking out the window. I always say hi to the captain and all that. Um, that was the spark. I enjoyed that so much, and I think this is this is what I want to do. And I got my first flight lesson in high school, just an intro flight, and I had a great time. You know, it was, went up for about an hour or so, and flew around my house, and that was kind of cool to see from the air. I got a baseball scholarship to college, and I used that baseball scholarship money to start my aviation career. So uh, I worked at a local airport right off the side from the college, played baseball, and flew at the same time. So I went and flew freight for a little bit to build some more time, build some experience. And uh, I started throwing my resume out to regional airlines and Horizon Air was at a job conference. So I put my resume in Horizon Air and ended up getting a job. I saw that, hey, look, another company is Alaska Airlines. They're, they're kind of a sister company in the air group. So hey, let me check them out. I went in, gave my resume, and, and they hired me. But the cool thing about uh, aviation itself is you don't have to have a degree in aviation. You can do whatever you want. Like my degree is in computer information systems management. Airlines uh, accept any major that you decide to do. And a four-year degree is definitely preferred in a, in a sense. I'm the kind of person that I like to do a lot of extra stuff like recruiting, stuff in the office. So I think at some point I'll probably want to uh, maybe do some management stuff or help out the company in different ways, maybe an instructor. I just, you know, figure in my career, my entire time in Alaska, how can I help out more? How can I be more part of the team and, and kind of put my footprint in things?